first of all, I'd like to really thank the Institute of Peace for what they have done to bring this uh, ceremony together, which is the passing of the baton ceremony from one national security advisor, you know, the current to the incoming. And I think that this represents the transformation and the transition of power in our country. And this is one step towards the inauguration where to, to uh, the outgoing president and the incoming president will will also uh, transition, which is a really important steps for our country. I think the, the two big items that I take away from really the last 24 hours, really the, the, the two points are about uh, global leadership that the United States of America must demonstrate and global engagement around the world that uh, whether we like it or not, the world demands it. And we have to step up to the global stage and take on a much greater leadership role. And I think that the uh, United States of America, unlike any other country that's ever existed, uh, is the one country that is capable of doing that in a, in a humble, but a very uh, strategic, smart, and very innovative way as well. And I think under President-elect Trump, we will see the United States of America uh, essentially step into both of those arenas, both global leadership, being a global leader, and also globally engaging our uh, partners around the world.